Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Berenson from the IMBCR in Los Angeles. I'd like to talk to you about multiple myeloma. I have been seeing patients with cancer for nearly 30 years, and after the patient hears the word cancer, it's very hard for them to focus on anything else. But as you're about to hear, it's very hopeful for our myeloma patients today. But before we get into all of that, what is multiple myeloma? It's actually a disease of the bone marrow. So what is bone marrow? It's inside your bone where a variety of different cells are made that move to the rest of the body through the bloodstream. These cells have specific jobs. For example, the red cells, they help you deliver oxygen so you can keep your energy high. Your platelets help you clot to prevent bleeding. And the white cells help you fend off infection. Now, there's a specific kind of white cell that's called a plasma cell. It makes antibodies that thro travel throughout your body in order to help you fend off infection. There are a lot of different white cells, and the plasma cell is one of them. What happens in multiple myeloma are there are way too many plasma cells of one type, and normally one plasma cell makes one antibody, and all of these plasma cells are making the same antibody. These cells can clog up the bone marrow and prevent the production of normal cells. So you don't have enough red cells, you're anemic, so you have trouble breathing, you don't have any energy. Your white cells may be low, so you're at high risk for infection. And if your platelets are low, you can't clot, so you bleed. Now remember, the plasma cells make a lot of antibody, but that antibody can go to the wrong place. For example, the kidney can cause kidney damage, and eventually you may have to be on dialysis. In addition, those plasma cells are in the bone marrow, and of course, where is the bone marrow? It's right next to the bone, as I said. But it turns out those plasma cells can cause bone loss. And as the bones are lost over time, you may have fractures, you may have bone pain. So now that you know what multiple myeloma is, how do you actually know if you have multiple myeloma? 